It's got to be one of the most anticipated movies of the season. It's called 13 Hours, and it takes audiences inside the attack on the consulate in Benghazi, Libya, as told by the security contractors who survived that horrific attack. Here's part of it. Benghazi is under attack. We need immediate assistance. You have a U.S. ambassador at risk. you got to send us. You're not the first responders. You will wait. We have no jurisdiction in this country. We're not even supposed to be here. Losing the initiative. Stand down! If you do not get here soon, we are all gonna die. None of you have to go. But we are the only help they have. So it's a feature film released by one of the big six studios, but could it have a political effect? Could this movie force Hillary Clinton back into a debate she believed she won? The pollster Frank Lunch was invited to a private screening, as he often is. In this case of 13 Hours of Secret Soldiers in Benghazi, he's here with the political effect it might have on the presidential race. Frank, it's good to see you this morning. So first of all, how is the movie? Is it, is it, will it win people over? Is it compelling? Uh, it's more than compelling. Understand, it's the true story. If you actually want to know what specifically happened over those 13 hours, you have to see this film. It was told by the men who were there. Now, obviously, it's a movie, but the way that it was done... Hollywood invested a significant amount of money to get it right. The men who were actually there and, and are depicted in the film were part of the production. They were there on the set almost every day. They were there to approve what happened. It, it is one of the most dramatic films I've ever seen in Tucker. The thing that I did not understand about Benghazi, as you can see from those visuals, it was relentless. Attack after attack after attack. It will make every viewer who invests the time feel great about this country and particularly about the men who defended it the acts of courage against wave after wave after wave of attackers it's truly remarkable it's it's an exceptional film about a very tragic incident that uh, that not only can we not forget we have the responsibility to know the truth and this movie tells us the truth well and and that 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 is the case i mean it's not just an event but it's also uh, a political story whose reverberations are, are continuing. Overwhelming majority of Hollywood money goes to, to Democrats, to Hillary. Could this be inadvertently something that hurts her? Well, the, the key in all of this is that, that the more people who see this, the more people know the truth about what really happened. And this is not something that you want to politicize, even though obviously something happened there that wasn't right, and she is responsible. If people are wise and smart. They will go to this film. They will bring two or four people who aren't Republican, who aren't conservative. They'll bring them with them and they'll let them decide. And that's what's key about this film. Tucker, I know that you say it's political. The truth is the film isn't. Mm -hmm. It simply tells the truth. And the truth itself will have an impact on what happens in 2016. Do you, do you get the impression from watching it that these guys were abandoned by their government at the consulate? I don't know how they did what they did. Uh, yes, I do. I mean, l l let me be blunt. I, it, it, and that impression is very clear. But what is also clear is that there are still heroes in America. There are still people who are willing to risk their lives. And I've got to tell you, there are times in the movie when I had to look. It, it was so emotional and so powerful. And I am so grateful. I, I hope that this movie is on screens from now through Memorial Day because people not only have the right to know the truth, they have the responsibility. They're going to be entertained. They're going to enjoy this. But most importantly, Tucker, they're going to learn the truth. Do you think Hillary's going to watch it? No way. No what? way. Be and, and if she watched it, that's, uh, that is the best question I'm ever going to get. I don't think she'll watch it because I don't think she wants to face the consequences of the decisions that were made. It was 13 hours of an attack. It did not stop. And we don't realize as Americans how close that CIA compound was to that embassy, how people's lives could have been saved, how these men fought again and again against waves. They were outnumbered 10 to 1, and they didn't give up. They didn't give in. And it was so tr I don't think she has the courage to see it. Yeah. And yet these men had the courage to not only to risk their lives, but in some cases to give their lives for this country. And we should be so proud to be Americans today because of what they did. Boy, that's quite an endorsement of the film. Frank Luntz, not often a movie reviewer for us, but you're good at it. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Tucker.